Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm so excited to be filming this video because not only am I testing makeup, I'm testing Primark makeup and it's brand new makeup that's just come into the shops over a week ago. So it's a very, very new collection. Some of it's from a collection and then some bits are just like random little bits that are brand new into the shop. But honestly, I'm so excited to be testing out all this new makeup. I literally can't wait. I just want to get it on my face. So let's just jump straight into the video and let's just test out some new Primark makeup. So I went a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie. I just kind of, I don't know, I just picked everything up. I picked a basket up, I went in and I just put everything in the basket and I went to the till, but I spent around 50 pounds. So yeah, I've got a huge bag full of just makeup and I'm just so excited. So I didn't pick up like any concealer, any foundation, anything like that, because there's nothing new in that section um, in Primark at the moment. Everything that I do have, I've had for a while. And I did pick up these sponges, which are new in at the minute, the double-sided sponges. So I have already opened them. And so one side's literally just like, like a sponge, like that side, do you know what I mean? And then the other side's kind of like, I don't know, like soft and looks a bit furry. So I don't know. I have no idea how to use these. I don't know if you wet them or what, or do you just like, dab it on like that and maybe you could use that side to like buff it into the skin I don't really know but it was a pack of four for £1.50 so I might try this on one side of my face because I actually did pick up this from Aldi this morning and I wanted to test this out and it's literally just um their like blending sponge from like their range and this feels so so spongy and obviously I need to wet it but oh my god I don't know if that's going to be nice but yeah I might try that on one side of my face and then try this on the other side of the face so this is the blending sponge from Alda I think it was $1.99 I'm not entirely sure but yeah I'm going to try this on one side of the face so I'm just going to use the uh, Bourjois Healthy Mix because it's like a favourite of mine so let's just try this sponge on one side of my face we'll try it on this side and I'll uh, just see. Oh, that's actually quite. That's actually quite good. They don't have to make such weird noises. But oh my god. Sorry if my mirror keeps getting in the shot. That is actually really really good. I like this sponge. Like it blends really well. Doesn't leave like any streaks, any marks. I'm really impressed with this. I think, yeah, this was literally £1.99 and I think I'm going to have to go back and get more. Now, let's try this side again. I don't know if you're supposed to use this wet, but what I'll do is I'll just try it wet and then we'll just, we'll just see. I think I'm going to just apply one little blob. Um, I've never used anything like this before. Okay. not that bad it's actually quite all right Um, blends really well but i don't really know what that side's for let's just try it. i don't know if this is like a buffing like you know to buff kind of thing or you could just use it the same kind of way but that's um it's blended really really well i'm really impressed so i haven't put anything under my eyes at the minute and i am going to go in with concealer but I'm going to use these colour correcting fluid uh, sticks that I bought um, and these were £2.50 and I got this one which is like a pinky shade and this conceals dark circles and discoloration which I am just going to pop a little bit under my eyes. I don't really use um, correcting sticks but I'm going to give them a go because they were new in and I thought why not let's just try it and then this one's like a yellow one and this brightens your complexion and dark circles for dark circles as well so that is the yellow one yeah i'm just gonna see if this like conceals my dark circles i should have put this on thinking about it i should have put this on before my foundation i'm such an idiot I literally forgot that I bought them. So yeah, I'm gonna use this side. I've just had to wipe away some of the foundation because 
I should have done this before because they have dark circles and I just thought let's see so I'm just going to use this brush and just see if this is any good mm, don't really I'm not really so keen on that brush let's try this sponge okay it's not really doing anything um, let's just try this little sponge thing I would say that obviously I should have done it before my um, foundation now that's my mistake but I don't feel like it's done anything uh, do I feel like it's concealed my dark circles um, not really I'm just going to put some of that yellow one just under my eyes just to kind of see I would, would normally go in and use concealer but I just want to use this brush and just kind of see what it's, what it's saying. Um, I don't know. But yeah, we'll just use a smidgy bit because it says it brightens complexion. So it is a colour correction, but we'll just we'll just see. We'll just use it under the eyes and just test it out. Um, we'll just use a little bit. I feel like I'm going to have so much caked on my face now. <laughs> Okay, I'm not feeling this brush, I don't think. Um, I'm not really a brush person for like concealers and that. I don't mind using con uh, a brush for foundation sometimes, but I'm more of just like a sponge kind of person. I'm not a fan of that brush. I'm going to have to leave that and go back to this sponge because I don't really like that brush. It wasn't the best brush. That's not too bad. It, I feel like it has brightened up my under eye a smidgy little bit. Let's just try this sponge again. Okay, I'm not feeling too caked under the eyes. So yeah, I'm just going to pop a little bit of concealer. A little bit. Because I already feel like I'm going to be Mrs. Cake Face here. <laughs> I really like this sponge. Yeah, oh my god, that's blended that concealer out so good. <gasps> Holy crap, I love this bro this um sponge. But I'm joking, that pink concealer, colour corrector, has done nothing. It's not hidden my dark circles at all. Um I'm just gonna set that lightly with some powder. So I'm gonna use this one, which is my favourite from Makeup Revolution, and I'm gonna use one of these sponges. I'm gonna use one of them just dry. So I'm just gonna use that to set my under eye with. I feel like if I don't use it for blending out, like an, um, foundation and stuff, I feel like it'd be really good because you can just kind of like wrap your finger in and get it really precise into the creases of the eyes so I feel like that would be really good for that and you can just really like melt it into skin and dab it dab, dab, dab. so contour I'm just going to contour with this um L'Oreal infallible foundation sticky thing sticky thing I just paint it onto the brush and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start from the forehead up so I'm just gonna dab it in press it into the skin and then we're going to get onto the good stuff in a minute because I feel like most of the stuff I've got is like um, bronzers and highlighters and I've got an eyeshadow palette as well and lip gloss. What else did I get? I think that's it. But I love this. I literally just, I just wipe it, swipe it and then I just kind of dab it into the skin, brush it into the hairline. It's just, you know. Like, oh, look at that. That is such a dream. Oh, my God. This beauty blender is so amazing. Oh, my God. And then I picked up this Define Brow Gel, 
Now I think I'm going to fill my brows in and then kind of like use this to set. This is in the shade dark brown. We did a light brown shade and also did a clear brow gel, um, which I couldn't get because they had none left and they only had testers. We'll try that. I'm going to fill my brows in first and then I'll come back to use this um, after. Okay, so I've done my brows, um, which I actually just use my Max Skinny Brow Pencil. Now I'm just going to try this. Um, to be honest, I don't really have high hopes. I don't really know. I've never used it before. So I don't really know. Do you just brush it through? And... Okay, it's just kind of like darkened it a little bit. And there. Uh, oh my god, I don't know. This is gonna like mess my eyebrows up now, isn't it? I'm trying not to use too much product. Okay, I would definitely say that a light hand is needed because a lot does come out. It's a nice shadow base. So I'm just gonna like swirl that in and kind of like just use that to like. the eyeshadow base onto my lid I feel like this is better I didn't really like it for the under the eye this is this is a lot better 100% so for my eyes I'm going to be using this brand new um, eyeshadow palette from the Island Escape collection this is the eyeshadow palette and the colours in that just look so good so pretty for like summer and stuff they've got four matte shades here at the top and they've got four like foily kind of shades now i haven't swatched any of these so let's um let's just swatch them and see so i mean the blue looks amazing there's a lot of um that just looks so so good so we'll just swatch that and we'll say <gasps> holy that is oh my god that looks so good let's try another foil shade i probably more so would probably wear this like gold this is Sunset. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so amazing. Skinny Dip. I'm going to go in with Skinny Dip, which is this really nice, what did you say? It's like a pink, red, deep red, pink shade. And I'm just going to pack that. There's a lot of kickback, a lot of fallout. I like the fact that you can fold that as well. So, okay, right. I'm just gonna pat that on the lid. Um, okay, I think that's got a bit of a shine to it. It's got a bit of a shimmer. We're going for, we're going for it. We're going for this. This is actually really good to pack on. There is a bit of a fallout, um, which I'm okay with. I don't really mind. Oh my god, that is pigment. It's more. It is matte, but it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a bit of like a shimmer there going on I'm just gonna pack that right on there into the crease okay now we're just gonna go in with sunset which is like this orangey corally shade again there's a lot of there is a bit of fall out there and I'm just gonna press that onto the top of where I've just put that other color this is literally gonna look like a sunset <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to go in with this one. I'm going to try this one, um, this eye crease brush. This is the number one, 251. We'll try this one instead. This is, oh yeah, this is a lot better. So I'm just going to buff that in. Look, I'm just going to go back in with that uh, teeny bikini and just pack some more of that on. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do the other eye now and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I'm not even going to lie. I, I love that palette. It's so pretty. Um, <laughs> this is kind of not my usual kind of look. But I just wanted to do something a bit different just to show you the colours. So then I picked up this Wonder Lash. Now, oh God, I think this has been in for a while actually, but I've never used it before. I picked up this because everyone keeps coming up to me and asking about it. So I thought, right, I'm gonna try it out. And the brush looks so like the, um, the telescopic one, is it by L'Oreal? So it looks really good. So I'm gonna try this 
And then let's see if it's any good. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, so first impressions, I really like that. I like the brush. Definitely think it's done something to my eyelashes. But I'm really impressed with that. No wonder everyone was raving about this mascara and like everyone comes up to me in work and asks me if I've got any more in stock. And oh my God, it just sells out so quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on some bronzer and I'm really not sure which one to use because I picked up three because they have three different bronzers in their Island Escape collection. So I have this one here, which is called Tequila Sunrise. This was three pounds. It looks like this. So these are ombre bronzers. So this is more of a, I'm gonna say like a, it's like a light tan, like peachy kind of color. Um, like, I don't know, like purpley tones would you say more? I don't know. But that's what that one looks like. And then this one is Heat Wave, which is more, oh, actually I would say this is more of a, a warm kind of bron warm tone bronzer, like more of a orangey tan bronze kind of color. I think this one might be more up my street, but I'm gonna try them. They are quite shimmery. And then we do have this one, which is their face and body glow bronzer. And this is, looks like this. This is like, looks so pretty. So what we'll do, we'll just try them all. I might even just put a bit on my body because obviously that is a bit of a, that is like body. We'll just try a bit of them all and we'll just see. I'll try this one first. Swirl it around, holy crap, that's pigmented. We're just gonna, just as much product off as we can. Okay, I'm not gonna go in with such a heavy hand. I'm literally just gonna try and just be gentle as I can. Um, so far, I quite like this. Um, it's really nice. It's really, really warm shade. Very, very warm. But yeah, they're very pigmented, so you literally don't need to use like a heavy hand or anything like that. Um, I feel like they blend up, blend up really well. I feel like it's got a little bit of a shine to that. A little bit. Do you know what? I feel like this would be like a bit of a darker shade to go over the top, like a bit of a, like a contour. Maybe you could use it for that. And I'm just gonna like dab it in and use that just a bit over the top and just kind of see. Oh yeah, you could definitely use that as like a contour. Let me just buff that out with this brush. But yeah, you can see that it's kind of got like a bit of a, yeah, like a bit of a purpley pinky sheen to it. So I'm gonna go and try this one i'm just going to swirl it i'm just going to try it over on this side actually i'm not going to swirl it i'm just going to dab because it's literally got gold specks so it is quite <sighs> this is going to be really like glow it and um, we'll start off on the forehead oh my god mm, i don't know if i'm i don't know if this is this is really dark look at that holy crap you don't need that much Oh my god if you've got a bit of a tan going on um and you're on your holidays let's just buff it out with a clean brush if you're on your holidays i feel like that would look really really nice um with a tan yeah i think less is more don't go in with too much it's very pigmented um but i think once you've buffed it out it, it doesn't look too bad so yeah quite like that but it's a little bit too dark for me i think so I think the next step is highlight. Now I've got two highlight palettes. So what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna use one on one side of my face and the other on the other, just to kind of, so you can see. The first highlight palette that I picked up was again from the Island Escape Collection. And you get four shades in this. Let's open it so it doesn't reflect on the thing. But how gorgeous do they look? And then I picked up this highlight palette. They did have another one like this, but it was more, they were more like darker tones um, and I feel like these are perfect for me. And this is called the Glow Up. So this one was five and this one is six pounds. So let's just swatch some of them and see. So we'll swatch this one first. Um, let's do this like baby, this like pink one because I feel like that would be, is that my arm dry? I feel like that would be more of 
right up my street but holy pigment that is really nice um okay let's try this one it's like goldy shade oh my god okay so i might not swatch them all i'll just swatch a couple so i'm gonna swatch this one here which is so cute and this is like a really gorgeous peach color oh that's pretty that is pretty um let's do this one love struck that looks nice oh i like that i think i like that one. Oh, i like them uh, okay let's do this one ride or die ride or die my skin is so pale i don't even know if you <gasps> oh yeah that's nice don't know if you can even see them okay so i'm gonna use this one first i feel like i want to use be my bae oh i don't know let's just use this one it's probably a little bit i don't know it's probably going to be really light for my skin but who cares let's just swipe to the place yeah that's got some on there let's try that one on this side of the face and this one is called be my be my bae oh my god oh wow that is whole yeah it's nice i do like that but it doesn't you know what i mean it, it comes out more like goldy do you know what i mean it looks like white but with a hint of gold undertone underneath but oh my god that is so pretty oh my god I'm so let's do the love struck i've wiped my brush by the way don't worry about that let's try love struck which is this really cute pinky kind of color and we'll just put that on the top and oh yeah i like that that's pretty it just looks so glowy and so different right um let's just do two from this palette on that side of the face we're gonna go in with this one here and oh it's got a lot of it Thing. we're gonna go in there on this side of the face ho oh, 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 ho oh, oh. ho which one did he just use was it that one oh my god yes oh my god wow let's just give that a bit of a dust off so we can use it on the other side then with this one here on the temples of my face just glowing all different kinds of shades of highlight <laughs> oh yes i like that <gasps> look how glowing my head is though <laughs> <laughs> let's do lip gloss because i've got a lip gloss i've got two lip glosses actually so this lip gloss is called the high shine lip gloss this is in the shade nude ambition and this was 150 i'm just gonna use this oh that's nice oh my god smells i'm not gonna lie it kind of smells like a cruncher that's just weird oh my god it smells amazing that is gorgeous oh my god that is a gloss but yeah i like that that is gorgeous that's the nude one so that lip gloss was one pound fifty and this one that i've got here is two pounds now this is again from their island escape collection look how gorgeous that look this one's called take me to paradise let's try this oh it's very sheer <gasps> look how glossy that is literally if you love a gloss these primark glosses they're so glossy they're not sticky honestly they're fab this is the last thing from the island escape collection this is amazing i've already tried it in the store but this is their liquid body glow in the shade gold they did another shade which is like a really dark shade this is fab but this could go i don't really know how this is going to go but i'm just going to like squeeze a bit oh, oh, oh look at that i don't really know and then i'm just going to kind of buff it i don't know what do you reckon oh <gasps> Oh my god. Yes. What am I saying that for? You literally can't even see. But look how glowy I am. 
So I've just put on some eyelashes just for the purpose of this video. I don't really wear them every day, but like if I was going out, I could so rock this makeup look. And yeah, I, I, I'm obsessed. Everything that I've used, everything that I've used today, I'm obsessed with. The only things that I didn't really like was the brow gel. I'm just, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Um, again, these colour correcting fluid sticks, I don't know if I'm a fan of them. Um, maybe I just probably didn't use them properly. I should have really used them before I did my foundation and stuff, but um, otherwise I'm not a massive fan of them. Last thing I'm going to do is just use this Hydrate Setting Spray. This is from Primark. I freaking love this. Oh, it smells amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, I really enjoyed filming this, I had so much fun just playing around with all the makeup and I'm so impressed, like honestly I just love it so much. But I hope you did enjoy this little testing video, this little testing Primark makeup video with me, I really enjoyed filming this video, I really want to do more testing videos because I love, I just love just playing the makeup, it's like something I just really really enjoy, I love it so much, so if there's some products out there you want me to test, any makeup brands, do let me know, I'll leave a comment down below, but yeah I hope you did enjoy this video guys, if you did make sure that you do give it a massive big thumbs up, and if you aren't subscribed to my channel then make sure that you do subscribe, click the little button down below, and also don't forget to click the notification bell as well because then you will get notified every time I upload a video. If you like watching Primark hauls and Primark testing makeup, makeup videos or any kind of makeup testing videos then make sure that you do stick around and click that little subscribe button because there will be more videos coming your way but I hope that you did enjoy this video guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys